The canal was at first interesting. I was like, okay, movie's gonna be hooked, you know? I was like, yes. And then it starts becoming your typical and predictable sort of movie. I, I remember halfway through the, movie, through the movie, I remember thinking, the father did it. Like, is it really this simple and predictable? Turns out, you know, it was. So we got this family moving into this new house. Uh, her husband is suspecting that she's cheating on him after she sees her with another man. Turned out to be true. He like sees her get fucked by this guy with his big dick, yo. It was like, he's going in and out, in and out, man. Shit was fucking, you know, yeah, you know. He also has responsibilities. So he has to take his son out of school. Son's being cute as ever, right? You know, I see questions like, where is mom? When is mom coming home? Takes him to their house, puts him, takes it, you know, he waits for him to go to sleep. And then he goes back to the house where she was sleeping with that, being fucked by that guy. And then his son also mentions to the father that there's this place that's like haunted and apparently you can see ghosts and whatnot and so he does obviously doesn't believe that's super early in the movie so then he decides to go into this house starts hearing and seeing strange shit people just walking around you know typical creepy stuff and so the next day he starts feeling weird he starts seeing like these weird things throughout this his whole town by the way his job is is like a film cleaner not cleaner wait what, what's he's a film uh preservation like people like there's jobs apparently i didn't know this for some people where they go and protect and pr preserve really really old films and in one of these films that he has to watch and clean up turns out there's a house where a man killed his whole family and turns out he's him and his family are living in, this, in the same house and then throughout this onto this as well with him going into the haunted house and watching these films with the same house things start comparing like contrasting and start blending together he starts having like these weird visions starts acting up presumably whether i was thinking about possession or something there's another film that he has to watch and preserve where there's this canal you know the movie called the canal you know we see this canal he keeps seeing this canal when he takes his son to school and they keep referring to this canal thing and then the next day uh, his wife goes missing presumed that something killed her or she got swept up so you know the cops are getting involved there's investigations going on he's obviously grieving and heartbroken but then again he starts acting really strange after going in this goddamn like house the and he goes back like an idiot i don't know why you know just typical horror cliches he goes back inside that house and you know starts seeing strange stuff again i was like okay i get it and I, yeah i think it was around that time i'm thinking don't tell me he killed his wife he doesn't remember because of this weird haunted house BS. And so, yeah, Con, you know, they just do it the next day, next day, keeps telling his son he'll be all right. Cops eventually catch up to him. He claims that his fingerprints was all over her body. It's all over everything. Turns out she was found in the canal. And then we get to, like, to a flashback where he's talking to his wife, angrily yelling at each other near the canal, claiming that, why did you get with this man? She said that she couldn't help it. She had the itch. Which that was funny. So he like drowns her in this fucking lake and pushes her to the canal. However, he does remember it. Apparently, he doesn't remember. Apparently, something got hold of him. Something was coming inside of him. And he just doesn't remember. So, I think he, like, kills himself. Or the ghost makes him kill himself. Or he dies and the ghost gets him. Because there's this hole in their house now. So, their son, their son is alone. I think he commits suicide. And there's this hole where, like, his father's talking to him. Or maybe he didn't. Maybe I thought wrong. Maybe he just went missing and I just hid in, like, a secret hidden spot in the house. And tells his son to, you know, come to him. Him to his mother. Actually, you know what he's dead okay i'm getting things messed up i'm like let's half paying attention to this movie but anyways interesting you know sort of plot but you know tells us to come with him and mother so they could all live together assumingly trying to kill the boy making the boy look like he could you know commit a suicide but yeah then that's how the movie ends and then another tragic one right this family moving to a new house again don't know if it's the mother just wanted to cheat and leave on him or this like weird film ghost thing you know or the canal again it's either one or two i do like that about the movie where it's like is it supernatural or is it not or a little bit of both you know but or maybe it's just like him just being stressed out and being you know grieving and heartbroken angered by rage and wanting like revenge on this guy that's fucking his wife really hard really really hard too and she enjoyed it she couldn't help it she said yeah again nothing bad just okay there's a cool again i like the, the cool alternative poster of him holding his son on his arm and then walking that's cool but yeah it's 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 fine nothing special just average just okay next up the 17th is oculus i have seen this movie super excited directed by mike flanagan super excited to see this movie again 